Hey church, uh, this is awesome. That, that It's a blessing to be able to share with you and talk to you. And, uh, in the midst of this trial, I've been thinking, uh, God wants us to take care of ourselves in three ways. The Lord is triune. He's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and He created us in His image. He created us body, soul, and spirit. And there's a couple of verses I want to read first, and then I wanted to add a little bit to it. Um, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23, it says, Abstain from every form of evil. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord wants to sanctify us, and our theme for the year continues to be called to holiness. And God says, abstain from all forms of evil. And then He wants to sanctify. It says that the God of peace he is the God of peace. And as we become more holy, we, be, we have more peace in our hearts and our lives. He wants to sanctify you completely. Your spirit, your soul, and your body in that order. We, we have a lot of attention on the body nowadays, the, the washing the hands, and, and that's important, very important. But the spirit is listed first. Spend time in the Word, prayer, fasting, journaling spiritual activities, uh, serving, staying connected, encouraging a brother. Take care of your spirit and then take care of your soul. We have emotions and this has been pretty long and it could become overwhelming emotionally for us if we don't take care of our emotional lives. How are you feeling about what's going on? Is there anxiety? Is there fear in your heart? Is there anger or frustration? Is there grief or sadness? I encourage you to talk about your feelings and to air them out before the Lord. Psalms 62 verse 8 says, Pour out your heart to God. And God, God wants us. Something that I do is I journal. And I love to journal about my feelings, and, and then I take them to the Lord. And it, it's awesome. It's, it's liberating. It's, you sigh, a sigh of relief. You know, your emotions could be like a balloon that if you bottle everything up, it, it, gets, it expands until it pops. And you don't want to do that. You want to take care of your spirit. You want to take care of your soul. And then lastly, you want to take care of your body. You want to be careful to, to wash your hands, to keep a distance, to, to sanitize everything, uh, to not touch your face like I just touched mine. Uh, but we want to take care of ourselves. And, and this is instructions from the Lord. He wants to sanctify not only your spirit and your body, but your soul as well. So this has really been encouraging to me, and, and I wrote down a few feelings and the reasons I felt these feelings, and then I took them to the Lord in prayer, and it was very liberating for me. So I hope this is encouraging to you. So let's pray for a minute. Father, I thank you for, for, for what you're doing, Father. Thank you for the hunger that you're creating. Many souls are reaching out to you. Lord, I, I, I saw that article on Fox News on, on record Bible sales, people looking for hope and looking for hope in the Word. Isn't that awesome? Lord, thank you for that. And I pray that you comfort our hearts and I pray that you strengthen us, Lord, as we move forward. Help us to endure, to persevere, to be strengthened in our inner man. Heal those that are sick, Father. Comfort those that are hurting. We pray that you stop the spread of this virus, Lord. Stop the spread of this virus. And we pray this, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.